Hey everybody, it's Audrey and you are now entering the new, improved, renovated craft space. The project is over. So I'm going to take you on a detailed tour Detail. of what I did. Um, oh my God. So right here, I put the luggage rack for when people come because I do have to have this as a guest room. Um, this dress form my husband bought me for um, my birthday and I'm going to put some of my more nicer laces and different things on it. There's my Jim Davis plaque. And then over here, this cl that closet over here, we don't use. It's more for like our winter clothes and stuff, but this closet right here has um, lots of stuff in it. And these are just shoe organizers, and I got the idea to store the flowers in the shoe organizers from somebody on YouTube, and it really has worked wonderfully. I'm kind of storing them by size. And then I did the same thing with my punches, because I don't have an Ikea near me, nor do I have the wall space for those um, racks. And I'll open the closet. And in here, I mostly have some holiday things that I'm not going to be using, and my shipping supplies, and some things to alter. Okay. So, that works well. Then over here, these two shelves, oh my, don't ask about the two shelves. They're from TJ Maxx. They matched my room perfectly, great deal, but a real booger to hang up. So That's not what you were saying earlier. <clears throat> no, I was saying some other choice words. But I wasn't going to let those shelves win, and I got them up, and it's a nice area for me to display the different things that people have given me or I've made. And then over there on that Eiffel Tower, I have um, the purse from Cynthia Luhu and a little bird. I'll probably end up using the little bird in a project. Cynthia Luhu is not her real name. <laughs> and it's, it's her YouTube. And then this cabinet... Um, Open up, show them. I have my dress form with my charms and then my homemade stick pin uh, holder. And then my project that I did for all my different Tim Holtz things. And then let's open this. In here I have some things that I'm, I don't use as much. Um, some plastic bags, envelopes, uh, cards. I have a Your Story binding system that I got on HSN. I just had to have it. My husband thinks this is too long of a tour. Um, and then we have our pretty kitty Elle. Hi Elle. Good girl. And then this is the newest addition is this table. I got this table at Joann's for... It was on clearance for $49. I had a $10 off coupon plus a $10 gift card. So I only, only ended up paying like $32. So that was a bargain. Is that the grasshopper or the cricket? Then I have my cricket and it's plugged in. There's an extension cord running so it'll still work. Definitely not a fire hazard going under the bed. <laughs> and Very then safe. My cuddle bug. And yeah. then down below I have some, this is um, one of those muffin tins I'm working on altering. And my dies, some other things. Um, I have this with embellishments. All kinds of different stuff. My pens, uh, miscellaneous stuff, white cardstock, tags that people have made that I want to reuse. Alphabet stickers, border stickers, and that is my pictures from our cruise that I need to finish. I think you need some more. Then I have some paper stacks, and this idea of using pizza boxes is attributed to Yoli. So thanks, Yoli, for that idea. It's working out well. I'm using mine for my different paper collections. Then I have a place for my mini so I can watch YouTube videos, and I got this cool little speaker for five bucks the other day. And this large milk glass container holds all my different different things that I like to use. And I love milk glass, so... Dun, dun, dun! Oh, sorry. 
It's the ATG. And then as we go over here, this hasn't changed much. It's mostly got my inspiration books. There's my little sign. Um, and then, oh, this right here at the very end, I got that at Goodwill today. And I just added some trim onto it. And then I'm going to use it for little, you know, displaying projects or whatever. That's my Live, Love, Laugh banner that I did in a swap. And then just as a, a little organizational tip, um, what I did is I got myself a whiteboard for the different swaps and deadlines that I need to meet. And I post them up on this board so that as I'm working on projects, I know what I need to work on, what needs to get mailed out. And then I also keep all of the guidelines in folders according to what site they are so that I can just pull those out when I need to. Tim also be proud. You're organized. I'm very organized. And I have a little bulletin board that I altered here with different projects and things people have said or that I've made. Here's my cigar box from Carrie. And I'm using it to store all my stamp tags. Extra clothes pins for trims. Little picks and things. Business cards. Handmade flowers in here paper flowers, charms, my beading stuff. I'll give you a sneak peek at the smash book that I'm making for my partner on I didn't see it. your paper pantry. Oh, you didn't see it. It's just a sneak peek. So I'll be showing that soon. Is that a and smash book about Halloween? Yes. And another peek of a mini album that I'm making for somebody. So there's that. Those are in progress. In here, I have some miscellaneous, large chipboard alphabets. I found this dictionary at Target in the dollar section because it's back to school, but I'm not going to use it to look up words. We have other dictionaries for that. I'm going to use it to cut up. So for a buck, I figured I can cut this dictionary up. So head out to Target, get yourself one of those. And then I have this little drawer system with chipboard, die cuts, and rub-ons. Down at the very bottom, I have all my Close to My Heart stamps. And then over here is my ribbon. You guys have seen that before. It hasn't really changed. And my typewriter down here, I'm displaying down here. Typewriter. Sorry. It's a typewriter. Yep. It works. And my desk area has changed a little bit. I cleaned up my stamps and I decorated my baby wipe container. <laughs> Since it sits on my desk all the time, I wanted it to be pretty. And we should all be surrounded by pretty things. And then... That's why I chose you. I have my tools here that I use really regularly. And my Rolodex holder here, just for inspiration. I really wanted that on my desk. And then lots of storage in this desk. I have all kinds of stuff. I won't bore you with all that. Um, this is, I got these at Hobby Lobby. Kind of like little um, hardware organizers. But they're for all my like eyelets and small embellishments. All my uh, Lindy Stamp Gang and Tattered Angels. Um, and I got, I finally got some diamond dust. So I'm going to try that. Some glitter glues, some miscellaneous stamps, big, huge stamps. And then these were all my different paper collections. And I, some are doubled up in the pizza boxes. And I have the papers and the embellishments that go with the collection in there. So, um, I have that. And then my clip it up which I absolutely love. And I store my cinch here with the binding wires. These are my 8x8 or 6x6 paper pads. This right here, this top shelf, is my basic gray. This is all basic gray right here. And then down here, it, it's loose paper sorted by color. And I want to show you how I did some of my trims. Um, since this is a guest bedroom, I wanted stuff to be able to be tucked away 
easily and so I took all my trims and put them on clothes pins and I got this raffia for 49 cents at Goodwill today bargain so those are all my trims and different things in there and then I organized my clear stamps and what I did is Hobby Lobby had the albums for 50% off so I got an eight and a half by 11 scrapbook album and they also had the uh, insert pages for half off and so I just went ahead and did that I know there's a lot of complex ways you can organize your stamps but for me this is good enough I oddly enough prefer wood stamps and then at Big Lots I got this album it's a four by six um, album for five bucks and this is what I am going to use to store my dollar stamps in and it was cheap and so I don't really care I mean it's not that great a quality in fact some of the pages ripped and stuff but at least I can see what I have it's really chunky so I have to kind of she says she prefers wood stamps hmm. smash it in the drawer Could've I do prefer me. wood stamps and there's just chipboard oh I have an empty drawer I didn't even know yes that means more shopping can occur and then on the bottom I have all my acrylic paints I used to take a toll painting class so I have a ton of acrylic paints um, a toe painting class? Toll. Basically acrylic painting. And so, and then here I store my magazines and these little things from Big Lot, or er, TJ Maxx. So here is the final look at the room. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, it was quite a project but I got the, the strength today to finish it up and I feel so much better it's clean and I can create in peace so love to see all your craft rooms and I challenge you to decorate your baby wipe container because it sits on your desk so decorate that baby wipe container make it look pretty and post and show me what it looks like Okay, guys, have a great day, and I'm off to bed. I'm exhausted. Thanks. Bye.